Okay, and this is the beginning of the Lewis structure for CF4. We've done the math. We find 32 valence electrons. They would like to have 40. Therefore, they're sharing 8, which means there are 4 bonds. There are 24 unshared electrons. We've hooked together the carbon and the four fluorines with single bonds, and now we're going to insert those 24 unshared electrons. This is where it's helpful to remember that before, fluorine looked like this. And we're going to assume that those have pretty much stayed intact. And that gives us 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And that's our completed Lewis structure for CF4. Okay, so here's the key for the structure for um, the ammonium ion, NH41+. And note that it is an ion. It has a charge, so that's going to change how you handle some things. Let's do the valence electrons first. So we have um, nine valence electrons, except that this has a positive charge, which means it's given up an electron. So minus one electron gives us eight valence electrons. Now let's figure out what everything would be satisfied with in terms of an octet. Sixteen. So knowing that if it was perfectly satisfied, everything would have 16. We have 8 existing. That means there are 8 shared electrons, which means there are 4 bonds. And considering that they come in with 8 valence electrons and 8 are being shared, there are 0 unshared electrons. Let's link it together with 4 bonds. That's it, no unshared pairs, but since this is an ion, we have to remember to put the bracket on it and note the charge. Okay, we have CH2O. This is actually the formaldehyde molecule, and it's the first one we've done that has more, well, no, that's got more than two kinds of atoms, but it doesn't make a difference. We still handle it the same. We'll figure out our valence electrons first. Of valence electrons. Now let's figure out our octet. So 18 octet electrons if everyone was satisfied. And 18 minus 12 means that they are sharing 6 electrons, which divided by 2 means we get a total of 3 bonds. Um, if they're sharing, if they have 12 and they're sharing 6, that means there are 6 unshared electrons here. I screwed up my math. I knew something was wrong. There are two hydrogens each who want two electrons. So that gives us four, which gives us 20, which means we don't have three bonds. We have, oops, we have four bonds. And I'll show you how I caught my error in a second. So we have four bonds and that means that there are oops, coming in with twelve, sharing eight. It means there are four unshared electrons. Okay. Um, so we have four bonds. We know that carbon's always in the middle if there's carbon there. So we have carbon, we have hydrogen, we have oxygen. Those are the only things that we have to surround carbon with. And hydrogen can only accept one bond because hydrogen can only accept two electrons or the feeling of having two electrons. At that point, it's full. So we know we have to have four bonds, which means there's going to be a double bond someplace. 
it'll have to be the oxygen because neither of the hydrogen can accept a double bond. Now we have four unshared pairs and it's handy to remember that oxygen came into this looking like that. So that takes care of everybody. Let's, and I think we failed to do this on the last um, couple models. <coughs> Let's check our octet and make sure everyone is satisfied. Hydrogen wants two and feels like it's got two. Hydrogen feels like it's got two. Carbon wants eight. How many electrons does carbon feel surrounded by? Two, four, six, eight. Oxygen wants eight. How many electrons does oxygen feel surrounded by? Two, four, six, eight. That was actually, it was um, checking my octet on my own rough drawing that made me realize I was missing two electrons. Now, you do not need to do a resonance structure for this molecule, despite the fact that there's a double bond, because there's only one place that that double bond can possibly exist. Hydrogen cannot accept a double bond. And you don't have to write a charge, because this is not a charged molecule. With that, um, you're done with formaldehyde. Okay, this is SF42 minus, it's the sulfate ion. And for figuring out our valence electrons, we look at what sulfur and oxygen bring in, and we get to 30, but we have to remember that this has a 2 minus charge, which means it has two extra electrons. So that gives us a total of 32 valence electrons. Now in terms of octet, if everything was satisfied, everything here would like to have eight electrons. So we would have a total of 40. Since 40 would be fully satisfied and we have 32, they'll be sharing 8. And 8 divided by 2 means we will see 4 bonds. <coughs> if they have 32 and they're sharing 8 of those, that means there will be 24 unshared electrons. So let's go ahead and link everything together. Um, sulfur is le slightly less electronegative than oxygen. It'll be in the middle. And also following that, if you've got one of one thing and a bunch of something else, the one thing is in the middle. We'll hook everything together with single bonds. That takes care of our four bonds. And now we'll go ahead and put in our, our unshared pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Count them up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. We have all of our unshared pairs. And if we check them, if we check octet on everything, this oxygen feels like it's surrounded by two, four, six, eight. 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 Everyone is happy. There's only one thing that we have yet to do, and that's to draw our brackets around the whole thing and put the charge on here because it's an ion, and we cannot forget to do that. Okay, that's it for the sulfate ion.